Hello friends, in this Simons NX tutorial, we will discuss about geometric pattern tool which is used to propagate geometry in geometric pattern. This is used for associative copy but in this example we will use it for a non-associative copy. Addition to this we will also discuss move tool of Simons NX. Here is a model of unfinished crankshaft. Its full modeling tutorial was previously uploaded on our secondary channel 3D solid modeling videos. With the help of this model, I will demonstrate what I need to describe. Here we can see some features are already created. Now we want to pattern it at a distance and pattern component should be rotated at an angle of 120 degree. But the problem is this tool called pattern geometry is for associative pattern which means the parent and children are related to each other any changes between it will reflect on other part that is why we have to adopt another option in solidworks and inventor we can create patterned new bodies but here there is no such feature so we will use a non-associative option in this feature. So activate pattern geometry tool as shown in this window. Select the object, it will automatically select the whole body, specify the vector, we are going to create a linear pattern and from the setting you can see associative option is non-checked, spacing type should be count and span count should be 3 in number span distance we are going to measure yeah, here we can see it is 145.96 mm clear the selected measure option paste the dimension and multiply it by 2 and here we can see the pattern body has been created now activate the move tool as shown here select the middle of pattern body motion type is angle specify vector direction and specify axis point so that it will be rotated along this axis angle should be 120 degree and click apply do the same thing for the third body select vector specify angle point angle axis point uh, reverse the direction and click OK 120 degrees and here what we wanted here is what we wanted here is our full model check video description and YouTube cards to find the full modeling tutorial of crankshaft 
hope all of you enjoyed the tutorial if you find the video useful please like it and share it with your friends oblique colleagues and do not forget to subscribe us to get latest updates about our new uploads thanks for watching